Today I'm going to show you how to mine uh, bitcoins on your Mac, laptop, or desktop, whatever, um, using a USB miner. Uh, this is the one that I'm using. It should be the same for any like ASIC or uh, like ASIC Jal uh, Jalapeno or any other uh, FPGA miner, but this is the exact one I'm using, this uh, Block Eruptor USB Sapphire Miner rated at 330 mega hashes, and you can see that this is my mining screen right here, and it's running a little bit slower than that now, but uh, it really averages right around 330, even at a little above is what I usually see it at, so it does get the advertised value here running with uh, what I'm running is BFG Miner, and I'm going to go through the entire setup process for that, and uh, it's going to take a little bit, there's a lot of components to it, but once you do it the first time, then every time after that it's extremely fast and simple. So the very first thing you're going to need to do is go to the App Store and install a program called Xcode. Uh, in earlier versions of OS X, I think 10.6 and 10.7, it should already be installed, but it might not be. Just It's free in the App Store, so just go and double check that it's installed. You just type in Xcode up here, and then it's this one, and then just install it. You just have to click on the the free box there and it'll come up with install app you just click install uh, but for Xcode and it'll take a it should take a quite a while because it's like a two gig download it's pretty big uh, but so just let that finish that's the very first thing you need to do um, and then after that's installed you need to install the command line tools for it which uh, to do that you just need to go to your applications folder where Xcode will be installed and double click on Xcode and then go to file, uh, sorry, click on Xcode, go to preferences, and then downloads up at the top. And then you need to choose command line tools here, like just double click on it to install it. That's also pretty big and that'll take a while to download, but uh, you need those before you go into any other steps, so do that first. Uh, next, you're going to need a USB to UART bridge adapter. Basically, that makes it so that your USB uh, miner can be detected by BFG miner. Um, so to get to that, uh, if you just Google USB to UART, then it's going to be this one, USB to UART Bridge VCP adapt, uh, drivers uh, at SIL, silabs.com. I'll put a link to it in the description, but uh, this is the one you need down here where it says Mac OS X. You just need to download that. So just click on it to download it, and it is a zip file, so we'll just need to extract it, but that'll just take a few seconds because it's actually very small. And your computer will have to be restarted after installing this. So uh, just keep that in mind if you have anything important open. Uh, so if you do, if you download it and then do a show in Finder, you just need to double click on it to extract it, and it'll extract to the same directory, and it will be this DMG here. So if you double click on that DMG, it will mount it on the desktop here. So you just need to open that up to install, and you can just install from this installer here. And you don't have to change anything here, it's just going to ask for your password. Uh, so you just hit agree and then you let it install. I've already installed it so I'm not going to go through this but you just hit install, let it do its thing and then it'll tell you that it needs to restart. Um, it shouldn't matter if you have your, BF your USB uh, miner plugged in at this point or not. I have it plugged in while I installed this so uh, and it worked for me so I would recommend probably doing it that way but I don't think it really matters. Um, so once that's installed and your computer is restarted, the next thing we need to do is install a program called Homebrew. Homebrew allows you to install uh, packages. Uh, not really going to go into the explanation of what it is, but this is Homebrew. It's actually really useful, but we're just going to uh, go through it really quick so that uh, you can just get the basic idea. The reason we installed Xcode first was because Homebrew requires that. So to now we need to open up one of these windows to install uh, Homebrew. I'm just going to stop my miner here. Um, so we're just going to need to open up a terminal window, and you go to you do that by going to Go Utilities, and that's Terminal right here. And then it's going to tell you right here on Homebrew's website, which is brew.sh. I'll also put a link for that in the description on how to, for how to install it. Uh, what you need to do is just install. Uh, to install Homebrew, you just need to type in this. So you can just copy and paste it. That's all I'm going to do. And so just hit Command C, Command V, and that will copy and paste it. And then you can just hit Enter. And that's going to go through and reinstall, uh, or like install the 
homebrew, it should just run for a few minutes, and uh, you can see that mine says that it's already installed. And uh, once that's done, you're going to want to run a command called brew doctor that was installed by homebrew, and that just makes it so that if there's any problems that happen during the brew installation, then it will show up here. It will just take a quick minute to run, but uh, it's just telling me that I have some unlinked kegs, I guess. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but I know that my uh, miner can run even with that uh, that issue, so that's nothing really to worry about, I guess, if you have that one. But if you do have some other issues then showing up here, then you might need to Google them if your miner isn't working. So uh, that's a good indicator of what's going wrong. So we have Homebrew installed at this point, and uh, we're going to need to uh, tap the installation folders, or uh, it's or touch them, I guess, is the correct term, to um, so that we can install the miner. So what we're going to do here is type in a new command that's going to be uh, brew, which brew is the for homebrew, uh, tap, and then n w o o l l s and then forward slash xg minor and then you just hit enter and I have an error that it's already tapped because I already read this command you only have to run that once and then after that you can run the installation for bfg minor uh, which is going to be brew install bfg minor but then you need this two hyphens and type in head uh, I don't really want to go into explanation of why that is, but that's just what you have to type. So after that, you can just hit enter, and it will run through some installation here. I've already done it, again, so it's giving me this warning. If you have some uh, errors during installation there, uh, go back and double check that you have the Xcode installed and the command line tools for Xcode, because mine was failing earlier because I didn't have the command line tools installed. So uh, you're going to need to double check that you have that. At this point, you are actually ready to mine as long as you have a mining account. So I'm going to show you, uh, like, I use mining.bitcoin.cz. So I'll log into my account here. If internet would move a bit faster. Um, y Y A Z S. Okay, and then, uh, so I would recommend creating an account here. It's called mining.bitcoin.cz. It's a pool uh, for mining. It's extremely helpful, but um, you can use other pools. I just recommend this one. It works really easily, and then exactly what I do here will work for you. You just can create an account. You go to my account, then create an account if you don't have one. And then your Bitcoin address is something from your wallet, which I do have another video showing you how to set up a wallet if you don't know how to do that and it creates these uh, miners for you down below and we're just going to be using this guest one for uh, this tutorial and like these are our logon credentials so we're going to be using this right here guest uh, so we need to run bfg miner so that's what the first part we type in here is going to be so bfg miner and then we need to tell it what website kind of to connect to. So that command is dash O. And then we need to tell it what protocol. And we're going to be using stratum mining. So the command is stratum plus TCP. And then we need two forward slashes. And then uh, stratum dot Bitcoin. CZ. And now this part is specifically for uh, Slush's mining pool. If you are in a different mining pool, then this part would be different. And then the colon part, this would be the same regardless as the port number for stratum mining, which is 33333. So <coughs> bitcoin.cz colon 33333. And then a space, and then you need to type in the username, which is dash u. Um, and my username as you can see here, for this account, like for this miner, is Pascal four ones and a zero dot guest. So one two three four zero dot guest, 
and then my password is, so you have to type in dash p for the password. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier that you, you push, type in dash u before you put in your username, and then dash p space your password, which in my case is just guessed. And then uh, another command that you'll just need is dash s and all in a lot of cases, but if it's messing up, then you'll need another one that is uh, dash s, and then let me see if I can find it again here. Oh, now I can't find it. Um, I had to disable something. Let's just see if it runs, because I had it running earlier. <coughs> okay, it's running fine now. I'm not sure. I think I just restarted, and now that fixed that issue. So uh, I just left it as dash s, so you don't have to worry about it after that. Um, so now BFJ is actually mining, or it's ready to mine. We just need to tell it where the uh, USB miner is. So uh, the command for that is we need to hit M for manage devices now. So I'm going to hit M, and it pops up with this. And now I need to hit plus to add a device. So I'm just going to hit shift and then the plus. And then it needs to look for the uh, the driver. So usually you can just type in what it says right here, and it'll find it. Uh, I'm going to show you something here. Is if you open up a new window, and then type in cd space dot dot cd space dot dot. Um, now you're at the root directory, and if you type in ls, you'll see that there's a bunch of folders here. This one's called dev. This one's going to have your Bitcoin miner in it. So you can say cd dev. Then we can type in ls again, and what we're looking for here is something that looks kind of like this. See cu.slab underscore usb to uart. That is the actual device. You can double check that the driver from earlier installed correctly because you need this tty.slab usb to art uart. Uh, that's important. This probably will only show up once you actually have it plugged in, while this will show up as soon as you install the uh, driver. But this is what you're actually can be mining on, this is what you need to type in here. So that's why it's at dev, where we just were, and then that. So um, we're going to just type in what it has right above, eruptor colon slash dev slash cu dot slab underscore usb to uart, and then we just hit enter, and it's now it's saying select processor to manage. I don't have to do anything actually at this point, now it's found it. So this is actually the miner right here. So if we just uh, see it says device scan succeeded there, so it knows that it actually was searching. And now you can see my uh, hashes are ramping up because it's actually starting to mine now. So uh, at this point, you can just leave it. It'll mine. It'll show up on here what your mining power is. Mining hash is like over time. It might not show up immediately depending on how fast you're mining. But uh, that is how to mine with a USB... Um, Miner on OSX. I'm using uh, OSX 10.8 here, uh, but it technically should work in other versions. I'm not sure exactly what versions it'll work in, but uh, if you have any problems, just leave a comment below.